Good evening, guys. So, uh, let's see. We're going to do a quick video here on how to find your Wonder Kids in FM uh, with the absolute minimum of effort. Uh, now, we're not guaranteeing you will sign these guys, but what we are doing is allowing you to take your, your lower league teams, you know, not necessarily your, uh, your Man United, your Man Cities, uh, well, but maybe your, your Ipswich or your Norwich or your QPR, uh, one of those kind of slightly below teams where you want to try and get a hold of the best youth player before PSG show up, before Man City show up, before Barcelona show up. Um, and you want to do this without spending weeks and weeks waiting for scouting reports and analyst reports and, uh, you know, going back and forth for a bit. So, there is a much simpler method. Um, we're going to show you it now. So, we'll start this in South America. Since we do find most of our Wonder Kids in South America, uh, we will start in Argentina. Lovely. So, we'll start with the Argentinian national side. Always go for the youngest first, because you're going to go through all of them in, in order anyway. So, let's start with here, uh, and this is a really, really simple trick, saves you so much time, won't save you money, because there's no guarantee these guys will sell you the player, but, uh, yeah, you know, let's see, so, wanted by Chavez, nope, wanted by Colorado, nope, the thing you're looking for here, now with the under-19s, as you see, not many under-19 teams, let's go to under-20 teams, uh, let's go back to Argentina, and we see we have a much wider variety of players and we have a lot more of them wanted because when they get to 19-20 people are noticing them play so we're doing this on the basis of lowest possible value now obviously when you look at the club they play for Zebra or in this case Juventus he, he, that, that one's gone he's, he's out of your reach he's out of your league okay Atletico Madrid likewise he might only be worth 600k but I'm guessing if I look at this kid his contract release fee is going to be yeah 17 million we don't want to pay that kind of money we don't have that kind of money so what we want to do is find guys who are in this bracket you know less than a million or so um and who we can probably if we're good at it uh, negotiate for maybe three four million pounds um and who we know or at least we anticipate they are going to be world-class players so, our 18-year-old from, from Juventus, he's wanted by a lot of people on loan, no use. Here's an interesting one. Unknown 19-year-old goalkeeper, playing for Club Atletico Talleres de Cordoba. And he's wanted by both Lazio and Roma. Now, we can't see his stats. So, if we go for this kid, we are taking a punt. But, we are relying on the strength of the team that is looking to buy him as opposed to the stats that we can see. Now, you'll know from playing in the game that the big teams, give them a couple of seasons, they always hoover up the very best talent. Your job is to get in there before they do. So, Chavez, Colorado. There we go. This is the kind of thing we're looking at. Playing for River Plate, worth 350000 Wanted by Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United, Tottenham, Zebra, Juventus. All right. So, and again, we can't see this kid's stats, but we don't need to. When we have a player who has who is being followed by that many top clubs at the age of 18, playing overseas, we know we have a player whose potential is probably in the top 15, 20%. Okay. They don't tend to just buy kids from uh, from South America on spec. They tend to buy players who they've gone through the youth system, so they know them in, inside out, or their scouts have looked at and said, this guy is unique, this guy is special. Okay, we, get, we, we We've scouted him halfway across the world. He's the guy we want to come in and, and play this position for the next five years. So, Marco Arnaudo. I'm guessing you won't have a release clause. Well, we wouldn't know anyway because we, we'd have to scout him and then send our analyst out. But he is the kind of player that 
we can probably, if we have, say, a budget of five million, we can probably put in bids around about two or three for the small sale on percentage and a loan back offer, and we can nip this guy, nick this guy before the likes of Arsenal, Liverpool, Man U, Spurs, or Juventus get to him. Uh, and the I say the best way to do this is through the under twenty system or the nineteen system. So let's see if we can find any more examples. This is Argentina, so you'd expect them, I guess, to be scouting the Argentina under twenty ones because you know it's one of the biggest teams in the biggest um, international teams in the world. But Brazil under twenty ones, we'll find the same probably. Uh, let's see. There we go, Elton Aparecido. Off £105,000, 16 years old, plays for Corinthians, we can't see any stats, but at 16 years old he's already attracted the, internet, the attention of Arsenal and Chelsea. Now, we know from Brazilian players we can't bring them into the UK until they're 18, 19, so if they did put a bid in now he'd have to stay there for a couple of years. We know this, but it's not about immediately getting the player in, it's about getting that the best youths ready to come into your team at the lowest possible price before the big boys can get their hands on them. Because if this if this kid goes to Chelsea or Arsenal, um, he'll be there 18, 19, I think, before he can come to the UK. And once he gets there, it's a five-year contract. So, you know, he'd be there till 24, 25. He's gone. He's out of your range. Um, if he plays remotely well... He's a 30, 40 million pound player, you know, and they'll get him for buttons. And if you can get in there early enough, you get him for buttons. But uh, the key to this, obviously, is you want to try and get him in without the selling clause. You want to try and offer as much money as you can up front or in installments, um, because the selling clause is where you will make back the cost of buying this player. Um, if you can get them to sell you him for three, four million pounds, uh, with no sell on or maybe five ten percent on the profit not on the actual value on the profit um you have every chance of selling this player on for 15 to 20 million um in a couple of years time and that kind of regular throughput on your team is exactly what you need when you're a smaller club competing with the big boys let's see so again we, we'd expect to find one in brazil because obviously brazil again major team but can we find one playing for someone much, much smaller? Venezuela. No. Okay. Let's try the under 23 squad. Uh, West Ham, Bournemouth. No. Brazil under 23s. Yeah, Juventus and Lazio. Again, 18 year old keeper playing for Flamengo. We can't see his stats, but look at this. 12, 12 to 19 kicking, 12 to 19, 11 to 19 reflexes, 12 to 18 rushing out. We've never even scouted this guy. We don't know anything about him. And yet, we can already see from the base stats and from the teams that are interested in him, we are looking at a potential wonder kid. And we're looking at a potential wonder kid who we don't have to pay a lot of money for. Right. Now this, this is an interesting one. £475, but Again, look at how many at 17 years old, random Chilean kid, Monaco, Porto, Sporting, Espanyol, Sevilla, all these top European clubs looking at a player whose base value is less than a thousand pounds. This is how to get your bargain wonder kids. This is how to get a player into your club, less than a couple of million, who is almost certainly going to make you a big profit in the future. Oh. 11 clubs for this one. He's worth 48, 48 and a half thousand. Let's see who's interested. Again, there we go. Monaco, Espanyol, Sevilla, uh, Lyon, Villarreal, Bordeaux. Top European clubs. Not the very top, but without even scouting this guy, you know, you can't even see his stats, but you don't need to. You know the base stats for this player and the potential for this player are going to be high enough that your mid-table club um, is going to thrive with players like this coming in. Let's see. Colombia. Siena. 
Nice brown. Yeah, not having so much luck with under 23s here. Cincinnati. As much as I'd like to credit the MLS, uh, I don't think Cincinnati is up there in the world's top 10 clubs. There we go. £54,000. Striker wanted by Villarreal. Superb. It's like, without without sending scouts out there, without putting anything into my scouting budget, in under five minutes I've found six players there who are capable of you know, playing, playing at a very, very high level before they reach the age of 21. Venezuela. Mm. And we're back to the Argentina on 23s. So, that's the South Americans. The problem with the South Americans, and we all know this, is you can't get them in if they're 16, 17. You have to wait for them to get to a certain age to come to the UK. You can't control the development in that period, even if you have tremendous youth systems, if you have great training facilities, great coaches. So, you need to be able to say, right, well, how do I get players in who are 18 um, and don't have these restrictions on them? We just come to Europe, don't we? Let's try Austria, shall we? Austria. Let's go to the Austrian under-19 side. Actually, we can go. We start with Albania. Okay. Albania under-19s, again, sorted in value order. Nothing special here. But uh, let's go through. Austrian under 19s, nope, nope, Azerbaijan, Belarus. Now, there we go. Belgium under 19 squad. Playing for KRC Genk, £47,500, Vic Chambayer. We can see one stat, maybe two that look alright here. Uh, 47.5k. But, we know other people have done the job for us. Because when we go to his transfer status, Milan, Fiorentina, Espanyol, Atalanta, Sampdoria, Sevilla. All of these teams are doing our scouting for us. We don't need to send out our scouts. We don't need to send out our analysts. We don't, we don't need to look at the additional stats. We know from the sheer volume of players who are looking, teams that are looking at these players, this is a player that we can take a risk on. This is a player we can punt maybe a million, two million on. Um, and that's the key to, to managing a smaller team. Um, if you've got a Man United and Man City, this works equally well. Um, it just means you can go in and you can steal all the star players from, you know, from the PSGs, from the bosses, before they get in there. Because um, you have the, the bigger budget. But this is absolutely crucial for your slightly smaller teams. Uh, England, well, the... The game we're playing is based in England, so we're going to see this anyway. One, 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 one. I don't think we're going to see anyone spectacular here. I don't expect to see PSG wanting uh, English players. This one's one of my 18 clubs, though, playing for Derby. Let's have a look at them, shall we? Who wants them? You know, it's an A to Z of mid table teams, and they all want them on loan. So we're not interested there. Estonia, the Faroe Islands, Finland, France. Well, we'd expect to see a few here. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs. For a £130,000 striker from San Etienne. Whose stats we can't see, but minimum finishing 14 at 18 years of age. So I'm playing in League 2C. 10 goals in 19 games. That's pretty good stats. Don't think I'm going to attract him to Chester personally, but you never know. Maybe next season when we go up to a, from League 2 to League 1. Uh, oh, we got another one. Anthony Soulier. This one's wanted by ooh, the big boys. So Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs there. Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United and Juventus here. Could be even better. 15 years old. This is the this is the absolute... The, this is exactly the kind of thing we were looking for. Right, at 15, um, the price on buying him should be buttons. Absolute buttons. Right. Let's try. I don't think we'll get him at Chester. You never know. I've got a million pound budget this year. I have no idea why the board thought that giving me a million pounds was such a good idea, but you never know. Uh, let's see if we can go percentage of profit 15. 
uh, and then we'll add this. Yeah, that's fine. Let's remove that. Make sure we remove percentage in the next sale because otherwise they'll add us for that. Give me 15% profit. Da -da -do. Lock that. Lock that. Suggest terms. Unacceptable. Which kind of to be sort of expected. Um, play like that will probably cost, let's say, a couple of million, two, three million um, out of our league at Chester. But that's not to say um, out of our league next year or the year after when we have a little bit of a budget. Um, I say this is this is not something that will work for you know your league two, um, your lower league teams, <clears throat> because you won't have the budget to get these kind of kids in. But um, let's see, if we can find one more example. No, 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 no. The kids that have just got you know the interest from one big team, it's not enough. We need to find the wonder kids. The wonder kids are the ones that are attracting everybody. Fairly the young, just Arsenal. That could just be that Arsenal have got a coach or a scout at, uh, who's Dutch and thinks the kid is wonderful. Doesn't guarantee his wonder kid status. Not like the Argentinians we found earlier. Sienna, Yuri Stabia. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, we're not finding as much luck in the... Uh, under 19s in Europe as we did in South America. It's probably because we don't have the, the same for the um the small nations, because we haven't really got them loaded into the game and at the database, uh, we don't find as many of them. Atletico Madrid, hmm, 23 clubs for a £16,000 winger from Sporting. Who do we have in there? Villarreal, Hoffenheim, Freiburg, Torino, Fiorentina, Espanol, Atalanta, uh, Rennes, Leeds, uh, München Gladbach. This is one of those that he's not a wonder kid. This is a this is a very good player, um, and if we can get him, he's going to. You know, we can get him at a reasonable price. Uh, he's going to be very very good for our team, um, but he's not going to be world breaking. He's not going to be. Um, He's not going to be winning the uh, Ballon d'Or anytime soon. 32 clubs, however. Let's see. Yeah, again, it's a similar. Udinese, Leeds, Bologna, Zaragoza, Sampdoria. A lot of kind of mid-range clubs, which if you're playing the game and you're, you're a low-end Premier League side or you're a, a high-end championship team, these are the kind of teams that you'll be competing against for championship maybe bottom part of the premiership quality players so again good player if you can get him in probably a good squad player but uh, not the wonder kid that we are looking for we want the wonder kids we want the kind of guys who there are only six teams in for them and it's the top six teams in the world and we'll find them we will find them because that's how the game works. It gives away its secrets a little bit too easily. Let's see, Rangers, Falkirk. Apologies to like Rangers and Celtic fans. If I find the players interested in you, I don't think you're a big enough club. Not as far as the game goes. Mm -hmm. Spain, Bilbao, Espanol, Sevilla. Spanish sides wanting Spanish players. Yeah. They might be good players, but they're not. Uh, the thing with Spanish players is they all have minimum free release clauses. So if they are proper wonder kids, um, Real and Barca will come in and pay that minimum free release very, very quickly. Um, let's see. Almost finished with the under 19s. Yeovil, Villa, Fulham, Newport. Burnley. Yeah, right, there. right. Under 21s. This this is where I expect to find a little bit more success because if you first off, if you've got a 16 year old who's sitting in the under 21 squad, odds are he's a pretty good player. Um, this one, yeah, uh, an Albanian wanted by five different German clubs, uh, including Munchen Gladbach, Wolfsburg, Hoffenheim, three big teams there. 
55,000. But that is because he's already playing in Germany. That's more league specific to, you know, he's, he's come through and all the German scouts have picked him up because he's playing in that nation. Uh, what we really would look for is someone like that who's playing for someone like Viz Pissarro 1898 or, uh, I don't know, Rieti. Players like that who are playing for clubs that, uh, that we don't instantly recognise as household names, those are the ones where you can get the bargains. Those are the ones that we want to find. Austria under 21s now. Uh, the problem with this is this kid. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Like Salzburg, Chelsea, Salzburg, they're already at reasonably big teams. We're not. We're not getting those players. We are. We are here to pick up a bargain, to pick up a wonder kid, uh, and to pick up a wonder kid that we don't have to pay through the nose for. So this kid looks good. SC Sporting Club Rheindorf Altash. Altash? Altach? I don't know, someone can can correct me on that one. Uh, Maximilian Steiner. Steiner. Again, £20,000. Ooh, pace 2 to 12. Is he a target man? I don't know. Uh, acceleration's quick though. So he can't go very fast, but he can get there quickly. Good first touch, good passing, but that base 14 finishing for a 17 year old striker. I think we take a punt here. Let's let's see if we can persuade him to come to Chester. £20,000, let's try a 500k bid. Pop the fee, add the, yeah, remove your, that. Let's add in a bit of this. Mm -hmm. Suggest our terms. Ah. Uh, Maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just that Chester aren't the most interesting of clubs. But we'll see. Let's move back. Uh, uh, what have we got? Holstein Kiel. Interesting. Uh, Vidra. Duisburg. Paderborn. Sunderland. So as interesting as that particular little expedition was, it doesn't help us. One thing this is also worthwhile for as well, if you are you know, a bigger team and you really just want to fill your shortlist every year with the best youth candidates without sending your scouts out to every part of the world or without relying on your scouts who, you know, they, they, they they do make mistakes. Uh, even a guy with like 19 judging potential ability will still send you back the occasional dud. Let's have a look. No. Come on, we want we want someone playing for playing in the middle of nowhere that's wanted by half a dozen world class teams. Fifteen thousand pound striker wanted by Hoffenheim. Mm. Genoa, Verona. Where are you? Where's our? Where's our PSGs gone? Where's our Barcelonas? Venezia. Derby. Inter Miami. Oh, it's Beckham's new team, isn't it? I forgot they were even in the game this season. Denmark. We'll pass on England on the basis that actually no, we won't because obviously if you're playing a, a top end Premier League team, you want to have the best English players um, in your team going forward because when you get your Champions League and everything else, you need to um, you need to have the best uh, candidates for your your homegrown status. Okay, no one there that's uh, you know changing the world. Finland under 21s. Lucas Bergson is at Chelsea, I'll be why. Hannibal Mejbri. This guy's one of the Reims. Wolfsburg. There we go. So, ah, well, 
No, you know that one. He's 23, but we already know about him because he's Jeffrey in Adelaide and he plays for Hunter at ENA. And he's a very famous player in the game. Man United, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's because you're worth £36 million. That'd be why. Eduardo Camavinga. And you were on my Wonder Kids list when I looked at them uh, yesterday. I'm looking for my regens. Where are my regens? Where are my... Do you know what? Let's sort these by age. I've been sorting my price on the basis of who I can actually try and steal for Chester. But uh, no, let's sort them by age because that's, that's where my... Uh, that's the best chance of us finding our wonder kid here. Shell can severe 19. Mm, 19, he was in the game at the start. Jeremy Frimpong. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. When you get to like the 20, 21 year olds, we're, we're already, we're gone. 18, no. Nah. Trimini's out into us. Uh, I mean, there are there are some good shortlists out there for you to download. I'd thoroughly recommend that you download uh, any shortlist um, for Wonder Kids between the ages of 18 and 21, um, because at the start of the game, it's completely and utterly crucial uh, if you're playing a decent sized type team. Um, if, however, like me, what you prefer to do is uh, run with just your basic squad and your youth set up for the first couple of seasons, um, and then start looking for your regens. Which I find is a lot more fun because relying on other people's scouting outside of the game, where they've gone through the database and they picked up all your, uh, you know, your high potential kids, it it just kind of takes it away from me. It's not a, it's not as fun for me as finding that regen that uh, that nobody else in the game has seen or that well the AI has seen, but that I've got in there first. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in my scouts, plus because I tend to play lower league sides, um, I don't tend to have instant worldwide scouting um, availability. So I can miss out on kids very, very quick, easily. Uh, 1919, no, you were in the game to start. 1918, English stat, no. 18, 1889. So, obviously, we've gone through the guide now. If you want to just, uh, you know, like, subscribe, whatever you need to do uh, at this point, go ahead. Uh, the rest of this video will be me going through as many youth systems as I can, trying to find that wonder kid, just to show that this strategy works, and actually signing him for Chester. Uh, Fiorentina, 18 years old, nope. Ah, uh, you're 18, you oh, now, this one, I wonder if he was a, yeah, yeah, he's been in the game since the start. Boo, come on, give me my 15 year olds, 15 and 16, there you go, it's Krasnodar. San Marino. I would love to find a San Marino international um, who I can get into the game and who suddenly becomes like you know the, the winner of the Ballon d'Or. Um, with hopefully with my youth set up, uh, may I actually be able to achieve that in a couple of seasons. But moving on, uh, Dylan Monroe. There we go. So a 15-year-old regen in France. Now it doesn't take a genius to see what we have here. 15 years old, base 17 dribbling, could be even higher. Base 11 finishing, base 12 technique, base 11 flair, base 11 off the ball, base 11 stamina. Might not be very strong, but he's going to be very, very quick. Base 10 pace. And again, these are all things we can train. Um, unfortunately for us here in Chester, came through Mets, which means... He's that a big enough club for us not to really have a chance of getting him. Let's try. Let's go for a million pounds. Let's add percentage. Let's remove that. Percentage of profit from next sale. 20%. We really do want this guy. Lock that or lock that. Actually, no. Let's not lock it. Let's see what they suggest. 
Mm. Well, unacceptable. I don't really want to go up to like the 30, 40% profit because um, then it gets into the stage of you are effectively just becoming a youth system for some other teams. You're developing players for their profit. I don't like that personally. I mean, I, you know, it's a selfish thing. I want my club to grow, and I want my club to grow only my club, not not your club, not uh, not the club that just randomly found a kid and then sold him onto me with a big sell on. Although I confess, when it comes time for me to sell that kid to you, I will be demanding that big sell on. Uh, okay, we're not gonna have him, but. We will be adding him to the short list because we know he's a wonder kid now. We absolutely know it. Uh, because we've seen his base stats and we have seen how incredible or how many teams are after him. And obviously, being Scottish, finding a Scottish wonder kid in this game, it's a real rarity for me. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, maybe Monaco, Roma, Napoli, Atletico Madrid. Forty-seven and a half thousand pounds playing for Red Star Belgrade. I think I might just add him at the short list, and I might see if I can get a sneaky bid in there. Six hundred k. Oh yes, loan bank left is an excellent thing. Um, if you can loan back for two seasons, even better. You want clubs to. Uh, can I be recording a little bit? Yeah. I want to remove this. You want clubs to feel as though you're giving them as much as possible in the deal, even if you add things like this. So you can see loan back lengths a year. Uh, and they think, great, we've got our, our player for another year. And then you just immediately pull them back. Um, and let's try 15% for next sale. I think that's a pretty decent offer. In fact, I'm going to ramp it up to a million because I think he's amazing. Suggest the terms 2.3. So we know how good this kid is, and 2.3 is not unreasonable. Um, obviously, I can undo, I'm, I'm not gonna be bidding on the player now, I know he's outside of my price range, but you know, 2.3 million for a player that we now know um, is, is a real star. We know because we see how many of the big names in Europe are already after him at 18 years of age, uh, after just two seasons of not playing a single game. So, let's just go back. So, that is us for today. Um, I would love to have found you one that has like PSG, Barca, everything else. I think our Scottish Wonder Kid is, is enough of a surprise to say that uh, this method works. Um, and hopefully, uh, I'll see you guys all again on the next video. Cheers.